Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be like another part to my makeup collection, uh, which I will also, I should say makeup, skincare, and fragrance. So um, this is going to be on my fragrances that I have. Now by no means do I have like a plethora of perfumes, that's just not my style. And there is probably one perfume in this group that I regret purchasing now, but it's one of those like I had to have it at the time and whatever I guess at the moment I felt like it was necessary so we'll leave that one towards the end um, but the, I've just got a few fragrances here that I would love to share with you guys and tell you um, I don't have scent notes this is just a collection video I'm not going to tell you what each of them have in the way of scent notes and that but I will tell you what I do like and I think you'll probably get a general understanding although by looking at all the different ones I have before me I have a very vast like for fragrances but they're very yeah they're very different um, some of them are very polar opposite but I do just like candles just like melting wax um, I do and bath bath and body care that kind of stuff I use them seasonally so I what I will show you right now is something I'm using right now because I'm using the same shower gel the scrub uh, that kind of thing so I like to I like to pair things up if I can and that is the ba the body shops early harvest raspberry eau de toilette that I picked up for like five dollars I think it was like a year ago they were um, super sale or something like that so I picked this up and I, I use that on a daily basis to go to work after you know I have a shower with all those other things I mentioned so that's one I really like um, for spring and summer like more spring but I really love it and I never ever hear anyone talk about this ever and I don't know if it's something that you can get in the States so please let me know if you can't I'm sorry um, in Canada what I'm about to show you I picked up at the shoppers drug mart that has like the beauty boutique but I think you can actually get them at most shoppers drug marts as long as they have fragrance um, is the biotherm eau de Energie. so it's the energy energizing one and you can see I've had, this is the second bottle of this I've gone through in my lifetime since I found out about it probably four years ago. Um, it's quite a hefty bottle size. It is 3.38 fluid ounces. The only thing that, it's a spray, sorry, um, and so was that eau de toilette. The only thing I don't enjoy as much on this is that the spray isn't a mist, it's a spray. <laughs> so you have to be careful like <laughs> where you put it, otherwise it just like, <laughs> kind of in your face or not in your face but boom on your clothes and that kind of stuff but I really like this it's just it definitely is spring to me it's got citrus notes to it again I love the smell of citrus I don't enjoy eating things that taste like citrus as much but I do love this so um, yeah there you go um, let's see let's see okay so in the summertime yes Okay, in the summertime, and you'll notice this is broken. <laughs> this is the way it should look, and this is the way it is. Now, you'll also notice this one here I'm about to talk about. It's got discolored. I'm not quite sure why, because it's stored in the same place as all my other fragrances and whatnot, but for whatever reason, it could have, I don't know. It's discolored, but it is, um, what's the brand again? Oh, La Vanilla. La Vanilla Coconut is this one, and I love it in the, in the summertime. Oh, just put in the pressure points just in my crook of my arm right here and then yeah love this in the summertime still smells just as good as the day I bought it again I have no idea why it turned colors but it did so on the other note this is just the original la vanilla vanilla so I know they have like grapefruit and all sorts of other different scents that they mix with these um, I tend to wear this one in the winter time or when I'm having like shower gels and I'm using shower gels that smell more like um, vanilla I'll use this in the summertime I do tend to go towards more of a coconut fragrance in the summer so that's why I've had this one a little bit longer I believe I bought this one first and I dropped it again because it's glass I dropped it of course I did why not um, a sample that I have I don't I don't like these sample vials I like the little spritzers I just think the vials I'll just end up wasting most of it away um, One doesn't, I just put it you know this is my travel bag because I could care less what I smell like in my travel bag when I travel but um, this is the Atelier Cologne Mandarin Glacial I don't know 
it's okay. It literally lives in my little travel bag when I go away for fire department stuff. And I'm not really trying to impress anybody, but after a shower, I'll throw that on if we're going out for dinner or something afterwards. A combo that I really, 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 really love, and I use this in the fall slash winter, and I use it a lot this year, and that's the Elizabeth and James Nirvana, or Nirvana White and Black. And just now you can get the full roller balls in Canada for $30, but um, these were at the till. There's like a half roller ball size, but a full together. And this was like, I think it was $30 for the both of these. So great way to try them. I know Melanie here on Miss, uh, on YouTube, Mr. Kong's mom, she had just, I don't know when this is going up, but she, uh, to literally today I just watched her like Friday's favorites and flops and it's probably going to be a week after this now, but she's showing how she uses both of them at the same time. And I could not agree more. Um, I use these both at the same time. I put them in pressure points, rub them together. It's, amazing and just as melanie said as well i prefer the dark rich sexy exotic scent more than the fresh uh white if used separately but um as you can probably tell i've used them virtually the same so there is that just a couple more left i also have another sample that i i wish i could afford no i wish i could see myself spending this kind of money even on the smallest bottle it's Victor and Rolf's bonbon. I went to Sephora and the lady there, lovely lady, she's like, oh, you like that? I'll just, this was full. I'm now scrimping mine, <laughs> saving what I do have. Oh my God, I love this. It's like borderline sweet sexy, sweet seductive, oriental and sweet. I really love this, but the price tag of this, even in a small one, if they could, I, they didn't have a roller ball. I remember going there. I'm like, I'll buy a roller ball. No problem. Nope. At least at that point, they didn't sell it in a roller ball. So if anyone down, if anyone here comment down below, if you know, in Sephora, they've actually made a roller ball in that now, because I would be so excited. Um, all right. Something I love, my parents bought this for me uh, because they were asking me what I wanted for Christmas a few years. Like we're talking years ago. And it's something, again, that I think was really popular. There's dust on my stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, really, really popular years ago. I love the movie, or Sex and the City. The movie sucked, but <laughs> in my opinion, I still watch them. I still own every single one. And yes, I do rewatch them, but they're pretty cheesy compared to the show, which I loved. Uh, I say that because it's Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. I will use this one in the fall and winter. I know it's really, really girly. It's a bit strong. A bit strong but I do like this once in a while just like more like spray in the air and walk through because this one it would take over the world I think if I sprayed it all over hence why it's quite a large bottle and I've had that for quite some time now um, let's get to the flop before I've got two other things one's kind of special actually they're both kind of special in their own little way the, the flop or the thing that I regret purchasing the most is the Trezor Midnight Rose I don't know what I was thinking it's okay, it's just way too mature for me. I, at least in my mind, I think it was the bottle, the ombre, the, I don't know, my mood I was in when I went and bought it. This was expensive in Canada. This is like, how many ounces is this? One fluid ounce for like $70. It was ridiculous, like, but I have it. It looks pretty on the shelf and that's where it's gonna, I don't, I don't use it very often, let's put it that way. But that's that one there. And okay, so I am going to share with you something my parents went on that uh, went on a cruise. My parents are awesome. Hi, mom and dad, if you're watching, I know that you know about my channel. Um, my parents are awesome. They will have been married for what the years is 2016. They will have been married for 45 years come October. So uh, a couple years ago, they went on a big cruise, like that big cruise uh, through the Rhine River. Uh, and anyway, through Europe, and they got to stop at all these amazing places. And one of their stops was Fie, Fie, or Fer, Ferina, oh, I don't know, Eau de Cologne, the original. They stopped at this uh, perf perfumery. Farina, they bought they bought me one of these here, and I've not used it. I it's super special. It does smell. I'll go into it in a sec, but it says that this brand here, since 1709. The original Eau de Cologne was distinguished with prize medals or diplomas by the juries of the expositions of all nations. And it gives all the different years on my little slip here. Um, I guess it was like the original Cologne, like overall in the world or what have you. And it's, geez, there's a write-up on all. 
And I know it's a touristy thing, but it's pretty cool. Like it's pretty neat. The world's oldest fragrance company, London, Paris. So, but I'm sure that they got this somewhere in, Paris, in France or Germany. I can't remember exactly, but I've not used it. It's a screw top. It's, it's delightfully citrus. Oh, it's very nice. I, but I, I don't want to use it. <laughs> it's that bad. Maybe on a special occasion when my parents are around, but oh, it smells so good. Delightful and special because they picked that up for me all the way in Europe. So, and lastly, something that I bought at a duty free coming back from Maui like a year and a half ago, and I loved it. This and the C by Jura C. Anyway, that is the one I don't have, but I would like to get that. But I ended up picking this one up in the duty free, free because I got a sample of this and fell in love. Givenchy's Very Irresistible Eau de Toilette. I love the packaging. Again, the ombre. Hmm, I'm not normally a sucker for packaging, but when it comes to perfume, it's pretty dang good. This is 2.5 fluid ounces. So I got that at the duty free. So that's the only way I would have bought it. And have you had a year and a half, but that's only how much I've used. Again, I don't go out anywhere special. I go to work and I use like, you know, the regular fragrances. So I don't do anything crazy when it comes to fragrances, but when I do have like a nice evening out or that kind of thing, I do like to put nice perfume on and of course do your makeup. And sometimes wear a dress and put some heels on. God, I haven't done that since Christmas because there's nothing fancy to do in my town. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm sure you probably could all attest to that uh, unless you live in a really big city and you're a super socialite. Um, I wish I had the time for that, but um, I wish I could do that more often, dress up. You know what? Dressing up and slapping on some of your favorite perfumes would be awesome. That would be so cool. Like once every two weeks, I would totally be into that. Yeah, I'm jealous of anyone who gets to do that. So anyway, enough rambling, video's getting long. This is my fragrance collection for you. Just another part of my makeup, skincare, and fragrance collection. So you guys, thanks so much for sticking with me again for an extra long video, uh, over 12 minutes, and as always, be safe.